The parent company of Ticketmaster, Live Nation Entertainment, is facing more legal trouble these days. All right, what's going to happen? Federal officials are now accusing the company of monopolizing the live entertainment industry. Now they figured that out? Robert Moses, where were they when this was all happening? Well, we kind of knew this was coming. The Department of Justice just announced that the news conference today is scheduled for 11 o'clock this morning, so we'll learn more about this. But already we know that the government is accusing Live Nation of illegally stifling competition and really hurting consumers by making them pay more than they should have to pay. The feds are moving to put a stop to that. At a news conference later today, representatives from the Department of Justice and several states are expected to announce that they are suing Live Nation for illegally maintaining a monopoly in the world of live entertainment. Since 2010, Live Nation has owned Ticketmaster, which sells about 600 million tickets every year to events worldwide. The plaintiffs are expected to recommend that the two companies be separated. The impending suit, to be filed in the Southern District of New York, will contend that Live Nation maintains a stranglehold on the industry through Ticketmaster's exclusive ticketing contracts with concert venues, which, the government alleges, raises costs for concert goers. The government also claims tours that Live Nation promoted were more apt to appear in venues where Ticketmaster is the only ticketing service. Last year, at a congressional hearing, senators accused Live Nation of being a monopoly after a debacle that left millions of people unable to buy tickets during a presale for Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. As a uh, ode to Taylor Swift, I will say we know all too well. Ticketmaster ought to look in the mirror and say, I'm the problem. It's me. Live Nation has denied that and laid the blame for high prices at the feet of artists and venues. Live Nation has tried to play nice in Washington. It has spent millions lobbying lawmakers in the last couple years. And in April, before the White House Correspondents Association dinner, it held a party in the nation's capital that included a performance by Jelly Roll and cocktail napkins that proclaimed how it has helped the economy. So far, neither the DOJ nor Live Nation has commented about today's announcement of the lawsuit. But now we do know that news conference will take place at 11 o'clock this morning. And in a sign of just how seriously the Department of Justice takes this issue, Attorney General Merrick Garland will be in attendance for this morning's announcement. Curtin Rosanna, back to you. All right, thank you so much.